existence and that we and you know that we don't die but we exist I think in the energy we impart out of ourselves into the world and I, I the work that I do is I, I work with I bring groups of people together to talk about experiences from their lives and tell stories about that much as what we're doing here um, and every time it's like a small group of about 10 people but every single time I come away with, with a piece of that person that has shared, each of those people in their room has shared an experience from their life and I held that then in myself. So that person, I may never see that person again. That person may die, but that person is inside me. And so, that, so I'm just thinking in terms of how we, our energy manifests in, in the world and in the way that we each carry that, you know, on from one person to the next. So um, that was what I was thinking of as I was listening to this. Mm -hmm. um, but my experience is very different because I'm facing death because I have cancer. And I have been facing death for five years now. Um, and one of the first things that I had to struggle with was like, you know, oh my God, I have cancer, I'm gonna die. A cancer is like a death sentence. And then I went, no, wait a minute. When I was born, that was the death sentence. <laughs> yes. Because when you're born, life and death, that is our process. That is what we do. We, we are born and eventually we will die. And so cancer is one way to die, die being, um, hit by a car is another way to die. And I still might not die because I might get hit by a car, who knows? I mean, so there's a lot of questions, but, but look, for me, I've spent the last couple years actually being really obsessed with death mm -hmm. and how people die. Because I'm like, how am I gonna die? How did that person die? How did that person die? How did they handle their death? Um, and I don't know. Life has become a big question mark. I don't know um, what my death will be like. The, I've had to confront fear of being dying because of sickness and possibly being in pain. And I've had to, and I've thought a lot about what do I want to go through that? Do I not want to go through that? And interestingly enough, like what you were saying, Bernadette. I mean. I think there is a beauty in that transition. And you know, I've thought about assisted suicide. I thought mostly because I don't want to pay the medical bills. <laughs> like, but then I've thought about but I think that would be depriving myself of whatever it is that is there to experience. So um, I don't know, it's a very interesting thing to look at your own death. Um, but one of the things that's really taught me, and again how intertwined it is, is that what's important is to have a good life. And right now, I'm alive. And right now, as long as I'm alive, I'm alive, and I'm focusing on being alive. I'm not going to focus on, I mean, I know I'm gonna die at some point. It might be a month, it might be six months, it might be a year. But right now, I'm alive, and I have learned to, to treasure the aliveness. And that's been, I think, the big yeah. gift that this has given me. And also to, to live with the uncertainty, the question mark of what, what, you know, what is coming down the road. I have no idea. It's a 